Nestled within its namesake mountains, America's most visited national park is also one of its most recognizable. Today we're going to delve deep into the lore behind the meaning of the name Great Smoky Mountains, how a writer, photographer, millionaire, and president fought to protect the land, and how these age-old mountains became known as the Salamander Capital of the World. Get ready because you're about to discover the hidden secrets about Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The 520,000 acres that comprise the park are a result of constantly shifting tectonic plates that around 500 million years ago collided to form the mountain range as seen in the park today. The mountains are host to over 80 inches of rainfall a year, which combined with the constant evaporation of water from the trees gives the area a misty appearance, noted by the Cherokee people who gave the region the name Shikanahe, translated to Mountains of the Blue Smoke. The name Great Smoky Mountain was adapted from the Cherokee name, and the Cherokee's presence upon the land can be seen long after they were forced off their land and forced to travel the Trail of Tears in the early 1800s. An example of this is seen at Gregory Ball Mountain, named Sutsuyi, by the Cherokee meaning Rabbit Place. This name originates from a legend where the Great Rabbit, a trickster, loses his tail for stealing the fur of otter to make himself look better. Animals play a large part in the park's ecosystem, and one of the most famous sights to view in Great Smoky Mountains is a black bear. The bears inhabit all areas of the park, and while it is exciting to see one in person, the NPS has strict laws on approaching bears, so make sure that you keep your distance so that both you and the bear can have a safe experience. Lesser known but still a great type to see are the over 30 species of salamanders located in the park. Due to the abundance of streams and thick, dense forests, the area is the perfect habitat for the spring lizards as they are locally known to live. With species such as the spotted, shovel-nosed, and black-bellied salamanders, this large gathering of amphibians makes the national park the salamander capital of the world. The mountains that straddle the Tennessee-North Carolina border are an inspiring place, and many European settlers were attracted to the Smokies, the first of which was William Ogle and his wife Martha in 1802. William cut logs for a cabin, but upon return to his family in South Carolina, he tragically passed away leaving his wife and kids to travel themselves to the mountains and construct the cabin, becoming the first settlers of what would soon become the town of Gatlinburg, a popular tourist town today. As more settlers arrived in the Smokies, the forest started to disappear due to the increasing presence of logging. In fact, it wouldn't be until the beginning of the 20th century that the demands to protect the sacred mountains and their surroundings took hold with the U.S. government. Ann Davis, one of the first women in the Tennessee legislation, pushed for the acquisition of land in the Smokies to be set aside as a national park in 1925, However, it would take more than Anne's legislative push to create the National Park. Horace Keppert, a writer who had lost his job and whose wife had left him, traveled to the Smoky Mountains alone like William Ogle before him in search of a new life. Keppert worked with many people to get the National Park created, one of whom was George Massa, a Japanese photographer who, with captions from Keppert, published stunning photos of the mountain scenery that brought the landscape to national attention. Sadly, Keppert was not able to see his efforts completed as he perished in an automobile accident in 1931. However, his legacy lives on in Mount Kepart, one of the many scenic mountains in the park. One person who was inspired by Kepart and Mass's work was billionaire John D. Rockefeller Jr., well known for making generous contributions towards national parks. Rockefeller donated $5 million to the park, and along with donations provided by residents of North Carolina and Tennessee, and $1.5 million donated from President Franklin Roosevelt, Great Smoky Mountain National Park was finally created almost a decade after Ann Davis's initial purchase towards the park on June 15, 1934. As we have seen, many places within the park are sacred connections to the area's storied past, such as mountains and historic houses scattered across the park's wilderness. One example of this is the Leconte Lodge, located on top of the third highest peak in the park. Built in 1926, the lodge is surrounded by cabins which visitors must hike to and can stay the night. While the cabins might not be very luxurious, the scenic views from the lodge are worth the hike. Interestingly, supplies are carried up to the lodge via an interesting mode of transportation, llamas. Llamas can traverse the rocky hills of the Smokies more easily than horses and have been traveling to and from the lodge since 1986. Finding cool spots to explore in the park can be hard unless you know where to look. Four visitor centers located at major attractions offer maps highlighting different trails in and around the area. The most visited trail in the park, the Appalachian Trail, draws visitors from around the world and spans the entire length of the park and beyond, going over forested ridges and passing by one of the major attractions in the park, Klingman's Dome. Klingman's Dome is the highest point in Tennessee at 6,644 feet above sea level. An observation platform offers 360-degree views of the Tennessee and North Carolina landscape, with interactive signs serving as guides naming the surrounding mountains. From the wide variety of animals that inhabit the park, to the many people that help to create and visit the park each year, to the land itself that is a constantly changing environment, Great Smoky Mountains National Park is an outdoor paradise with adventure at every scenic turn. 
thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure to check out RSC Adventures channel.